The Dukes of Sussex seemed to have decided to powerfully break into the information field, no sooner had everyone discussed the first teaser of their Netflix documentary than the second one came out a couple days later. And to give fans even more reason to discuss it, Meghan and Harry made a social exit. They attended the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Award ceremony and made a strong impression. All thanks to the impeccable look of Markle, who chose a Louis Vuitton open-shouldered dress for the evening. Much more talk online and in the press, however, was provoked by the teaser of Meghan and Harry. In the video, the couple talk about how hard it is for women to be part of the royal family. And the screen at that moment shows footage of Princess Diana and Kate Middleton being chased by throngs of paparazzi. There are a couple of similar moments with Markle on there too, such as a video taken at the Cape Town Archbishop's residence in South Africa. It shows Meghan walking with baby Archie through the courtyard, with photographers lurking on the roof taking pictures of her at that moment. In the background are words about excessive media intrusion into her private life. Only a little later it turned out that these very images have been coordinated by the Dukes themselves. The fact is that journalists, cameramen and photographers go on tours with members of the royal family. And they have clear instructions on what, how and from where to shoot. It is clear that the Sussex family didn't film the documentary on their own, so they could have missed a moment like that. But for this puncture instantly caught the British tabloids and royal correspondents. Imagine what will happen when they see the whole movie, 